that all? Okay. A gut punch, gut punch start is just for you. Well, anytime you lose, it's a gut punch. I mean, we put a lot into it and, um, you know, got all, got started how we want to. Give them a lot of credit. You know, we got, we went flat and then we weren't able to, uh, you know, get anything going there in the second half. When you say you went flat, Mike, emotionally or just the performance? No, I mean, I just think, you know, it's, it's all. It's, it's everybody. You know, the execution, you know, the third down. Um, you know, they hit some big plays. You know, we weren't able to convert in the red zone. And, they're, you know, defensively, we just, you know, couldn't stop the run. Number one key to the game. And, uh, you know, that, that's, that's why you lose. Not, not, not because you miss a field goal at the end of the game. It's, it's a lot of things up, up to that. How unusual was that, Mike, to not be able to stop the run? That was such a strength for, for you. Well, obviously, you know, I mean, that's something that we've, we've uh, you know, done a good job of. And this is, a, this is an unforgiving league when you, you know, you know, don't play your, you know, the gaps or you don't tackle or you just, you know, it, it's, a, it's a very unforgiving league, uh, especially uh, with, with, with a good back or excellent back. On the 65-yard touchdown where the guy, Shepard, got behind, mm-hmm. Fulton was just a, a blown you coverage. You have a chance to, to ask Christian here in three minutes when I finish. Why the issues with the with the clock in terms of you, the delays? You know what that one. You know the one down in the red zone. That was you know clearly on me. You know those are critical. The team bailed me out. Just was trying to look at the formation, make sure that we were in the right formation. Um, you know, and and normally I would obviously, um, you know, use a timeout. You know, and then we just know how critical those timeouts are. The team bailed us out, uh, and then we needed all the timeouts that we could, to, you know, put ourselves in position there at the end. Hindsight's always 2020, 20, but looking back on that third and one, would you rather have given Henry the football as opposed to a compo on the end of round? Uh, well, you know, we're just trying to, you know, we go in with a game plan, and there's a, you know, there's a short yardage plan, and um, some of the stuff that we had prepared for, that was, you know, one of the plays, and you know, we gave it, you know, to, to Derek on the, uh, on the Wildcat, you know, so that, that one didn't work either. Uh, we just all have to come back and, and be better and prepare and, and get ready to go face Buffalo. Where was Hilliard down the stretch as effective as, as he was? Uh, he wasn't available, you know, just some of the the distance. Um, so we'll evaluate him and see where he's at um, tomorrow. Mike, you had to feel pretty good about some of the things that Kyle gave you in his first game, the big return early, the catch to Yeah, those are all those are all secondary. You know, that you know, I mean we expect those guys to to play well. Um, we we have to take care of the football. Um, a, a lot of you know, good things and you know some of those things that, that are going to get you beat you know we have to eliminate we've been through that um, you know give the Giants a ton of credit you know they, they, they stuck around and made the plays that they needed to make uh, especially down the stretch Brewers holding calls anything consistent? you know what I'm not going to even get into that you know I mean it's uh, that, that's that's part of the game on the last drive, when you had to call that timeout, uh, I guess what just was making that? sure we wanted it on the you know the correct hash, you know making sure everybody was on the same page, you know we felt good about 18 seconds, you know that was something that we'd worked where you could you know reasonably center the football, put it on the hash that that you wanted on, and then get lined back up and and clock it, and you know I think you know, we we've, we've worked that numerous times, you know if it gets below that, you know you run the risk of a pile up or the ball getting kicked around or crazy things. But, uh, you know, I thought we, we handled that situation well. Everything good operationally on the kick? Uh, it's, it's, you know, just like everything else, if, if it's a bad play, it's, it, it's everybody's included, you know. And, and Randy's made a bunch of kicks for us, and, and he'll continue to make a bunch of big kicks for us. Go ahead. Mike, this is a group that's known for their stoutness on defense in the run game. What do you think led to having such a bad day stopping the run? A uh, good player, poor, poor defense, poor, poor gap integrity, you know, and just a couple times it was edge, sometimes it's inside tackling. You know, we'll have to really reevaluate, um, you know, what we're doing and, uh, you know, give them credit. You know, that they, they, they were able to run the football, which was, you know, the number one key for us on defense. Well, I guess what are your thoughts maybe immediately after this? You guys dominated during parts and just couldn't really put them away. Yeah, we just, I think, left some opportunities out there. Didn't make some plays that, that were there. Um, you got to play a full game. You know, I don't think we finished the way, obviously, that we want to. Um, didn't move the ball effectively enough throughout the game. You know, like you said, had spurts where we, where we did some good things. Uh, just got to be more consistent. 
What was your, I guess, angle on the kick, and did you think it was good at the start, and maybe how deflating was it when you, when you saw it sail left? Yeah, I couldn't really see the angle on it when it, uh, when it came off his foot. Um, you know, I have a lot of faith in Randy and, and know that he's going to you know, be able to make the next one. So um, this doesn't change my belief in him or, or uh, our team's belief in him. You know, he's made a lot of kicks for us in the past. He's going to continue to do that. Was there any, any desperation at any point in that drive, or did you guys feel like you were doing exactly what you want to do? No, much? I don't think there was desperation at all. You know, I felt, um, felt great. You know, felt like we, uh, we had some opportunities there. We were, we were steady, just gaining some yards. Um, I had, had some opportunities to, uh, to complete a pass there to, to Kyle, one he got held on, and, uh, and the other one we were able to hit, you know. So, um, you know, I felt, I felt in control and felt like, you know, they were, they were trying to heat us up a little bit and we were able to have, have answers and uh, gain yards on those situations. And, um, you know, unfortunately, we just, we just didn't finish it. Frustrating not to be able to build on the lead when you're up 13 nothing. Yeah, no doubt. You know, coming into half, um, you know, we felt like we left some meat on the bone. You know, didn't didn't score once we were in the red zone, and um, you know, expected to come out and, and be able to score more points than we did in the second half. You know, um, regardless of the opponent, um, that's just our mentality that, that we should be able to uh, to score more points than we did in the second half. So, got to get a lot of things cleaned up and and look forward to an, another opportunity next week. Top targets, Kyle and Traylon, both getting the majority of the target share. Uh, what was going right in that sense of the game where you felt comfortable going to Kyle so often, especially late when you guys kind of had your backs against the wall? Yeah, Kyle's made a bunch of plays for me this training camp. So, you know, built up that relationship and, and he's shown that he can win consistently, uh, you know, in practice. So, you know, that translates over to the game and, uh, you know, he gets put in that situation, man to man coverage. Uh, he wins in practice, so I expect him to win in a game situation. Um, you know, Traylon coming in, you know, I think we had, uh, had some plays that we wanted to try to get him down the field on, and, uh, you know, he was able to make some of those plays for us. So um, some more opportunities where, where I thought we had some, some shots down the field we weren't able to, to connect, um, but just look forward to uh, continue to try to take advantage of those situations. Was Hilliard as much a factor in the passing game as you kind of expected coming into this season he can be? Yeah, we, we built up a lot of confidence in, in Dontrell. You know, over last season when he, when he joined us, and, um, and then you know he's here the whole whole spring, so we we're able to kind of move him around a little bit, and um, you know he showed showed up big for us today. Uh, you know, one down in the I guess two down in the red zone, um, but he, he does a good job for us on third downs, and uh, he has has some uh, natural feel and ability to be able to get himself open. Ryan, was there anything in particular you guys game planned for this week that you weren't able to do in the game, or was it just a matter of inconsistency? No, I think we had a good game plan coming in. You know, I felt really confident about it, and I feel like um, we had opportunities with some of the stuff that we were trying to hit. You know, um, just just inconsistent and didn't take advantage of of some of those opportunities when they arose. You know, you don't get uh, in this league if you don't take advantage of plays whenever you get the opportunity to. Then you know, you're going to come up short a lot of the time. Right, what went into using that final timeout when you guys did? It seems like maybe you could have used it a couple of seconds later. Uh, we were just trying to get the ball in the right hash there, so um, the timeout wasn't really wasn't really a factor. Um, just trying to be able to to move move the ball over the right hash, and we were able to to clock it. So ended up being the same type of situation. Did you think about holding the timeout to try and make the kick a little bit closer? Like, was that a discussion that went on at all, or was was the priority the hash mark there? Yeah, you have to ask Vrabes about that. Um, that's the information I got, so that's what we rolled with. Might it have helped if you had gotten some play in preseason or that you felt that made no difference or not? No, I'm, I feel like it made absolutely no difference. Felt really confident going out there today. And from the start of the game, you know, I felt like I was seeing things clearly and, uh, and putting the ball where I wanted to. So I don't think it was a factor. This was one of the more balanced passing attacks that I've seen from you guys. Is it different like when you don't have like that dominant top number one as opposed to now like when you have a group of solid pass catchers? Yeah, we got a good group of guys, you know, and I think over the course of training camp, we've kind of built that trust across the room, and uh, it's going to take all those guys making plays. You know, there's going to be some games where, you know, one guy gets a few more targets than the other guys, but over the course of this season, that's going to, you know, shift and ebb and flow depending on the game. So we're going to need all those guys in that room to come up big for us at different times this year. You know, it's a long season, but as much time as you spend thinking about this game, how terrible does 0-1 feel? 
losing sucks no matter uh, no matter when it when it happens. Um, you, know, you never want to start start off you know the season on on the wrong foot, especially at home in front of your own fans. Um, we have to turn the page quickly, though. You know, it's a, it's a long season. Uh, it's just just one game, uh, and, and we have to keep that that mentality to to be able to take a real look at, at what happened, get it fixed quickly, and and turn the page and get ready to go for next week. Thank you. Just how uh, just how tough a way is this to, to start a season? It's tough. We didn't play good enough. They were the better team. That's why they won. Um, we know we didn't play up to our standard. Um, we let them hang around and he uh, capitalized off of it. And, you know, we got to play better on all three phases. This wasn't good enough into our standard. Did it feel like it should have been more than 13 to nothing at the half because you guys had seemingly controlled the, the game on both sides of the ball? Yeah, definitely. Um, then we got in the red zone and couldn't score. So, I you know, we, we got to be better as a whole on offense. We know that um, you know we get in the red zone. We got to put in, got to uh, score touchdowns, and you know, coach, you know, put heavy emphasis on that. And we didn't do that, so you know, we don't hit uh, some of the keys that you want to. You think, you think that can help you impact the game and win the game? Then that's what happens. And we didn't take advantage of uh, being in the red zone and scoring touchdowns. What happened on the Wildcat play? Oh, I, I took my eyes off the ball. Um, she secured, she secured the ball first, and then. Uh, made my read and, and hit the hole, but you know I got too excited and dropped the ball. No excuse. Got to be better, and you know I continue to work on that and try to get better at it. It seemed like they were able to get to you a lot of times, like behind the line of scrimmage. Yep. Was there anything in particular happening that was you know allowing them to do that? Oh, uh, we just got to be better um, in the run game. All eleven of us, and we all know that. And um, you know just continue to work on it. Wasn't good today. Wasn't good enough for us to win the game, and you know, for us to have the explosive runs and want to play the style of football that we play, we know it wasn't good enough. No excuses, and you know, we just got to be better next week. For you physically, how are you feeling after you know actually going through a full game of contact? Oh yeah, I mean, I feel, I feel good. Um, which is the result could be better. Which is saying different things, but um, you know, that's you know, that's, that's one game. I don't think it, it defines us. We know that we could have played better and should have been better. And, the game we let uh, slip by, but you know you just let it motivate you. Um, make the corrections tomorrow, and get ready for the week coming up. How big is this a week coming up? You got Buffalo right out of the gate. No time to really, no time to, to fret over this one. I guess you got a big game coming up next Monday night. You know, like I said, tomorrow just uh, make the corrections on the film, um, and you know, I'm definitely going to put heavy emphasis on myself and see you know the things I did and things I can get better at. And then I know we'll do it as a whole. You know, we watch film and you know, be honest with each other and what, what we need to get better at. Like you said, we got a tough game with Buffalo, and then start getting prepared for that and move on. What's the approach in the locker room from leaders on the team when you're coming off of a loss like this and you're looking down the barrel of a, a big game like you guys have coming up this week? What do you guys say to some of the guys on this team to get them to the place they need to be to be able to compete at a higher level? Yeah, as leaders, you just want to make sure everybody rallies together. You know, you know stay with it. Um, we let one slip away. Um, Stuff happens. You know what I'm saying? You can't get down on yourself. We got to come back in this week and uh, be positive, make the corrections, um, hold each other accountable, and then get ready to go. You spent a good amount of time in the locker room mm -hmm. at, at KB's locker talking yeah. to him. Was that kind of like to get together and just plan how you want to spring it forward for the week, or is that just random conversation? Yeah, this conversation about the game and, um, you know, what we need to do to, to, to be better. Um, and, you know, just, just having conversations about, you know, us, you know, as a team and, you know, some of the things that happened in the game. And then I'm sure we'll have more conversations, you know, we get in um, t tomorrow about what we, need, what, what we need to do as leaders and, you know, as a team to be better. What did you see from Don Trell in the passing game, man? Yeah, he, he, he did, a great, did a great job. You know, one-on-one -on -one matchups, he's been winning all camp. He got in the game, and, you know, he did the same thing. So he made some big plays when we needed him, and, um, you know, uh, I was happy for him. Derek, this team seems to take a, a loss, a tough loss, and, and rebound and play well the next week. How does this team seem to do that so consistently on the games when you do lose? Yeah, I know. I mean, uh, it's, it's a long season. Um, and, um, you know, stuff like that, stuff like this happens. You know, you don't, you don't want it to happen. And, you know, it's like you said, it's a... Uh, Another game the next week we got we got Buffalo so you got to have a a, a, um, a short memory on, on what happened but make the corrections um, be better improve hold each other accountable um, and um, you know individually and as a team. What was I guess the advantage on, on, on the kick and, and almost I know you probably expecting it to go in just what how deflating is it when you see it kind of sell sell left? 
I'm mean, like Coach said, we shouldn't even been in that situation. I feel like we, you know, had plenty of opportunities to win the game, and you know, it's not it's not Randy's fault. We always gonna rally behind Randy. You know, he's an, an efficient kicker. He's a great kicker, and stuff like that happens. But we shouldn't have left it in Randy's hands. I feel like we should have, you know, did what we need to do on our end to be able to win this game. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks.